Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of A Spice sessions. So, this is Tota Krishna Hema, your A Spice expert. So, today we would like to learn SWE5 software integration and integration testing. So, let us get into the details. Before do that, yesterday, like our SWE4, like I did not cover much about dynamic analysis. Uh, sorry, I forgot actually. Uh, so dynamic analysis is a little cost involved when compared to static analysis. Static analysis we can run n number of times because it does not involve cost. But wherein dynamic analysis, like uh, we will, we used to run, we, uh, we used to run uh, once we, before delivering it to the customer or the final delivery or uh, the or the bug fix we make and the uh, these these all times like we will run before the um, final delivery and we will fix we used to fix all the things like all the dynamic analysis bugs or errors and we used to give it to the customer uh, so it used to give all the um, gpa or lgpa gpl or lgpl or any other licenses which we were not uh, uh, we were not comply with or some something like this open source uh, um, open source software or open source libraries we have used in our code so it you it will give all that information so we need to give a proper justification or we need to uh, get it signed through the through our suppliers or even we also like we have to come into the justification and we have to provide justification to the customer that uh, this we have used because uh, of this reason or you know uh, if something gets up with this uh, GPL then we are responsible kind of you know we have to give that written statement so this all we have we did before uh, okay let's coming into the software integration integration test part uh, so the purpose of software integration and integration test process is to integrate the software units into larger software items up to a complete integrated software consistent with uh, with the software architecture design and to ensure that the software items are tested to provide evidence for compliance of the software of the integrated software items with the software architecture design including the interfaces between the software units and between the software items so integration integration in mechanical terms so we can term it as a coupling or in electrical or electronics terminology we can say connecting so here software integration or integrating so we already had a uh, software units which are built with uh, software detail design input so wherein like while we are integrating we have to look into the architecture design and we have to integrate the software and we have to test that particular software okay got it right so we have to integrate the software units and in in by looking at the software architecture design okay and the main input for the for the software integration is software architecture design and the, for software integration testing also uh, we have to trace our software integration test specification or test cases to architecture design items okay uh, output work products are software item or interface or integrated software sorry in, uh, integrated software so test specification your integration test sub test specification or your integration test plan communication record your emails minutes of meeting and the status reports or uh, the review record uh, so review record for your test specification review record for the test plan and the review record for uh, the test results or reports as well so traceability record and uh, traceability either in terms of traceability matrix in the e in the excel or traceability is established in uh, in in the tools like in any alm tools or test results or the test report i can say and the build list so it is a chronological or sing or uh, or uh, the order uh, on which the build list is uh, is is uh, is there so what are the 
outcome so a software integration strategy consists of so always when we are discussing before we discussed about in unit testing right so that's when like we have started with strategy the same way we are starting with strategy it's a software integration strategy consists with uh, consistent with a software plan release plan and uh, the software architecture design is developed to integrate the software items so if i say um, software unit as a module and uh, this integrated uh, integrated software as a feature or as a software item uh, as a feature so like we need to uh, integrate it based on the uh, we strat so we have to develop a strategy based on the project plan and the release project plan release plan and the software architecture design three inputs are there project plan release plan and the software architecture design okay and a software in the integration test strategy including the regression strategy is developed to test the software unit and software item interactions so uh, the second thing is as when we develop a software integration test strategy we have to develop regression strategy as well along with the original or normal test strategy uh, specification for software integration test according to the software integration test strategy is developed uh, the next step to strategy we have to develop a specification the input for the specification is software architecture design including the interfaces between the software units and between the and between the software items okay uh, software units and software items are integrated up to a complete integrated software according to the integration soft integration strategy test cases including included in the software integration test specification are selected according to the software integrated te integration test strategy and the release plan integrated software items are tested using soft selected test cases and the result of the software integration test are recorded consistency and bidirectional traceability are established between the elements of the software architecture design and the test cases including the software integration test specification and between test cases and results so i just read out all the process outcomes but uh, we would like to go in detail here so bp1 talks about develop software integration strategy so when we are developing software integration strategy there are through three inputs uh, so one is project plan the second one is release plan the third one is software architecture design by looking at all these things we have to develop a strategy to integrate a software and uh, to uh, to integrate a software so bp2 talks about develop software integration test strategy including regression strategy so first thing is integration strategy alone now we have to define integration test strategy uh, so when we are developing integration test strategy we have to develop a regression strategy as well like when there is any change so uh, based on the impact of the change to the architecture design so we need to develop uh, a software regression test strategy as well so whenever we are uh, we are we are testing integration integration testing we are running a test uh, integration test so then we will we might not pick all the all the integration test i test uh, cases but uh, we will pick selected test cases that's called regression testing so coming to the bp3 like develop specification for software integration testing so how will you develop is like you have to look into the art software architecture design and we have to look into the each software item and integrated software item and we have to develop the specification each and every uh, each and every test case which we have developed as part of specification to be traceable to the architecture design okay uh, compliance to the architecture design means that it is that the specified integrated integration tests are suitable to prove that the interfaces between the software units and between the software items fulfill the specification given by the software architecture design the integration test case may focus on the correct data flow between software items uh, so build flow i told right so uh, the 
timelines and timing dependencies of data flow between software items the correct interpretation of software by the software items using an interface the correct interaction between the software items the compliance to resource consumption objectives of interfaces so while we are defining architecture design we might have come up with all these things resource consumption dynamic behavior so these all things we have covered up in the uh, in architecture design part so if uh, any of you doesn't know these concepts you can all you can go back and refer to uh, software software architecture design part so we have to cover up all these we have to focus on all these things like whatever is defined in software architecture design okay we before talks about integrated integrate software units and software items so integrate the software units and software items based on the integration strategy so how we have developed integration strategy is based on the architecture design plan project plan and the release plan so this is how we have to do you have to integrate based on the integration strategy we have defined bp5 is select test cases so as i said before so when we are uh, when we execute software unit integration testing for the first time we will run all the software integration test test cases but wherein when there is a change uh, in the architecture design or the change in the requirement so that's when like we will um, decide on a few test cases we will select a few test cases based on the impact of that change and we will run it so this uh, to ensure the selection of test cases shall have sufficient coverage according to the software integration test strategy and the release plan okay so bp6 bp6 talks about perform integration testing or software integration testing so we have to execute or run the software test cases software integration test cases and we have to record the results so either in an excel sheet like uh, we have to record pass fail pass fail and all the all the failed test cases need to be logged with a bug so but wherein like you can also um we can also publish results in 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 uh, to, in test management tools like uh, jira bugzilla or any other any other tools you can log on so the software integration test may be supported by using hardware bug interfaces debug interfaces or simulation environments so what is for simulation environment so i'll make another video for software in the loop simulation or uh, sell hill mill these all things i will cover up on that that video uh, so it will be made as a part of safety requirements okay uh, so bp7 talks about established bidirectional traceability so established bidirectional traceability between the software architecture design and the test cases um, including the software integration test specification so establish bidirectional traceability between software integrated test specification and the software integration test results so two different traceabilities they are talking about so architecture design to specification and uh, specification to results so ppa talks about ensure consistency ensure consistency as i always say uh, we have to ensure on bidirectional traceability and also review records we have to maintain each and every review record for your uh, strategy test strategy uh, for your uh, test specification for your uh, test records so for everything we need to maintain our uh, review records accordingly and uh, so we need to give a justification like why we have selected this particular test case and why not others so that's all that also we have to define okay pp9 talks about summarize and communicate results so um this things like summarize the integrated so integ software integration uh integration test results and communicate them to the affected parties how will you communicate is like uh, you have you can put it in your configuration management tool like svn c v c vss or or any other configuration management like management tool like your sharepoint or your bitbucket or anything like uh, so when you put it so you have to communicate to or to all stakeholders that this particular document or this particular work product is available at this particular location uh, 
so this kind of communication we need to make so either in terms of email or order generated email from your configuration management tool or the minutes of meeting in um uh, in minutes of meeting is an actual evidence actually uh, so when you have yeah, when you have discussed this the the availability uh, in a meeting then you have to maintain a minutes of meeting or uh, your status report with the proper link so this all uh, we have to ensure on uh so this is tota krishna hema once again like uh, you can write to me in at ask hema tota at gmail dot com or else you can comment uh if you have any any doubts in this particular session you can write in the comment section uh if you like this concept subscribe to my channel thank you